G'day chaps and welcome to my Deserts of Carrack first impressions. I am actually coming right off the back of um, a long dark series, so I just recorded five episodes back to back and a video before that, so um, excuse me if my voice is a little hoarse. Um, I'm going to do as much of this as I have time for. Um, I'm jumping right into the game. I, yeah, I'm just trying to squeeze this video in basically at the end of a, a very long gaming day and I'm begging my wife to be patient. Now I'm just gonna on the screen to my right gonna bring up the Wikipedia page for Homeworld Deserts of Carrick. What I like to do I don't know about you Wikipedia, here we go. I don't know about you, but I like to find out a little bit about the game I'm playing while I'm playing it. So I'm gonna bring up the Wikipedia page also gives me an easy way to uh, talk to you about the game without doing a ton of research into it because I, I just don't have time. Um, I want to bring you as much content as I can with the time I have. Uh, finally, just... Okay, this is too long. I'm just going to stop talking. Let's get on with it. Um, sorry, or first, would you like to play it? Should we play it? Uh, I have a rough idea of how it works. Let's just go. I might die, but um, it's probably more interesting than the tutorial, which I've seen already and you've seen already. I, I can't remember it at all, but I just want to get in and actually try the game. Um, this is a preview copy. I've been given a a copy by the um, by some guys called Evolve. I think they're a PR agency for different publishers, different game publishers. And um, I never thought that I would get free copies of games because my channel is really small but um, one of my lovely subscribers suggested it and I thought what the hell nothing to lose so I asked and they just gave me one fantastic even though the game had already come out so that game's still loading let's see uh, I'm gonna take a little look at Wikipedia um, let's have a look at the development so I'm gonna read Gearbox software oh, now we're going to watch the intro, I guess. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Wow. This is pretty amazing. Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki Object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. This must be uh, Sajet. And Karen Sajet was a character in the original Homeworld. She became one with the ship. Wow, I love these graphics. And the art style. Rachel, that says. Rachel Sajet. Wow, what a machine. Very cool atmospheric movie type intro. I like the way that this isn't rushed. Very much my style. I like these mature, chilled, professionally made games. And I don't want something that's ridiculously difficult either. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for an experience. We need that control module hooked up before we launch, and we don't have a lot of time. And 
I went for normal difficulty, by the way, because I've not done the uh, tutorial. So I didn't think I was some sort of hardcore player. I'm going to make mistakes. Rachel, Galcian attacks have been launched against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch of our expedition carrier, the Capisi, has been accelerated. So attacks have been launched against many of our bases. This is the captain of the jet carrier Capisi. All crews, Hangar 5. Stand by to initiate rollout. I love the way the voice acting is still the same, and the sort of UI is still pretty much the same. Very cool. I just love the concept too, what a great idea for a continuation of the series. Wow, it's an aircraft carrier. On wheels, that's insane. How cool is that? I love the way it's giving you a feeling of scale. What's that? Bringing systems online. Fleet manager online. Yeah, so this is supposed to be truly a vast ship. Command system online. And they've stuck to the original graphic style. Objective tracking online. Very cool. All control systems successfully installed and online. Same sounds. Same look and feel. This is what it's all about. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is fleet intelligence for the expedition carrier Capisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource oh, I love that. and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. First, deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. Go for carrier. Go for carrier. Trying to give you some sort of a uh, cinematic intro here. It hasn't actually given me control yet. Carrier copies. Ah, so I can't move the screen. Ah, here we go. Ah, right. Excuse me. All right, that's as far as I, out as I can zoom. I'm just trying to get my bearings. So I move the camera. Okay. So I move that camera. Okay. All right. Let's do something. I thought you'd be able to zoom out. More than we can. Capisi, go ahead. Carry your copies. I think that's supposed to be moving. Deploy a salvage. Oh, come on. Right, this is uh, this is getting annoying now. Maybe I should read what we're supposed to do. Objectives: Deploy a salvager from the Capisi. Gather resources with the salvager. Capisi reading. Go for carrier. Ah, it's giving me this here. Right. Sorry boys, being a bit retarded there. Here it comes. Salvager online. Cool. Stand by to commence resource test. Gather resources, okay. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. Cool. Is identified. Proceed to site. Okay, so it is giving me a kind of tutorial, that's pretty cool. Very good to know. What are these guys? Can I control these? Who are these guys? Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. These are attack vehicles, lights, attack vehicles, right? Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. All right. You might be. You might not be finding this very interesting, but um, this really is just supposed to be. 
first impressions video. This is just literally my first experience. I want to see what the graphics are like, how it feels. I love this. You can zoom right up to them. CU field expanded. I love it. I'm just trying. I wish I could get rid of the HUD hood really quickly and easily. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? Use Rachel suggests to repair the support cruiser. So this is Rachel. Repair, click repair. And repair, where is it? Support cruiser. Okay. Get that unit back online. Move. There we go. Okay, this is a, a nice little intro. This is what we needed. Okay, so Sujet comes complete with uh, repair facilities. It's very good to know. Got a salvager. Repairs completed. There she goes. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capici's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Cool. Go for Capici. Carrier copies. Yep. Now what? Light upgrade attack vehicle fabrication. Go for carrier. Carrier here. Okay. Where is that? Engineering. This is all movement stuff down the right. Basic vehicle construction. Nope. Not there. So... Must be this. Ah, yes. Okay. It's the technology. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Cool. Let's build one of those then. Light attack vehicle. Produce three light attack vehicles from the Capici. Okay, there's our three. We've got right there. Let's have a look at them coming out. Light attack vehicle in service. Oh, cool. How cool is that? Light attack vehicle online. It's like a little German buggy. Ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Very then cool. Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. Righto. Got Let's have a go. Hostile. Oops, excuse me. Oh, the controls have just gone a little bit funky. There we go. Some kind of bug in the controls then. Let's have a look at the uh, weapons test. Okay, oh that's cool. Ooh, did you get that frame rate drop? Holy crap, I did. Receiving. Don't know about you. Ooh yeah. Did you feel that? that frame rate drop? Are complete. Give me Ouch. A go, no go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge. That go. probably means it's got a a few optimization improvements that it needs. But overall it runs okay. All systems go. We have to bear in mind of course that um, yeah, recording at the same time as playing does demand its own chunk of resource resources. How cool is this? Oh, let's watch her. Let's watch her go through. Oh, crap. Nice. Just this vast thing. This ship. It's like a spaceship. Massive. I love it. It's just this pondering beast, isn't it? This enormous base, mobile base. I love it. They've, they've just done it perfectly. And it's the same team. I was just reading um, on Wikipedia. It is actually the same team um, from the original Homeworld. Uh, it doesn't say who, but it is the original people who made Homeworld who are making this. <laughs> that's it, that's exactly right. I love it. It's taking us on a journey. Outstanding. Cool, let's Personal log, Science yeah, Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. 
We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. Fantastic. So it's the same concept executed in a new way. That's just the best way you could possibly pick up a, a franchise and run with it. It's outstanding. Just the concept is outstanding. So I, I'm very excited for this. Um, I was a huge fan of Homeworld 1 and I, I replayed it when um, Gearbox brought out the remastered version. Um, Gearbox do own the rights, of course. They bought it from uh, THQ, a company that went bankrupt back in 2013. And if you remember those um, humble bundle sales of THQ, that was all because the company had gone bankrupt. All the, um, all the, what do they call them? All the accounting people wanted to try and get as much money as they we could. Have successfully entered the open desert and are safe for now. Before leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Attention, Kitted of the Night. I am Kagan of the Kid Gaussian, servant of the mighty Kahal For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our Creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Karak. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard, a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the sensors manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the North itself, now rests on us. Outstanding. So it really puts you in the uh, the driver's seat. Control, this is the Capisi. Request immediate clearance to dock. Copy Capisi, we've been waiting for your arrival. You're cleared to dock. Crews are standing by. Wow. It's a massive base in the desert. It's like another planet, isn't it? It's like a moon base or something. Just sitting there on this barren piece of land. This reminds me of Elite Dangerous. Very cool. So what was that again? Sensors manager coming online. Or is that what it was? The Capisi's desert refit is underway. While that happens, we need to gather as many resources as possible and reactivate retired units to bolster our fleet. Cool. Intelligence indicates Gaussian forces are inbound on our location. We don't have long before they arrive. Okay. Right you and the support cruiser need to reactivate the decommissioned units using your repair beams. Copy that, Intel. Right. I'm going to build uh, another salvager because I want to be as efficient as uh, getting resources as possible. The storm to the south is growing in intensity and right. has turned our way. So it's telling us to be quick, salvager. Salvager, ready. salvager online. PDA active. Okay, how do I just do auto? Auto. No. Why do I have to tell you to do everything? Okay, well, I don't know if I'm just being stupid, but um, Salvager ready. there's no auto harvest like there used to be. Which is kind of shit. Alright, we're just harvesting. It, it puts some resources right in front of us. So I think it's pretty obvious that um, it's there for us to grab quickly. Identified. Proceed to site. So these guys are all uh, working away. 
it's a jet. Let's have a look. Where's our map? It's usually space. Yes, okay. So we have all these units out here. Do bear with me. I've obviously not played this uh, before. It's as far as we can zoom out, All right. So let's have a look. Which way do we want to go? I, I suggest we just choose one area. I'm guessing it's within none of these um, these radar by I'm going to go here because that's the only area where we don't have any kind of visibility. So in terms of uh, getting our eyes on everything, that's where we should go. Strike confirmed. Wait, attack vehicles. I'm going to send one of these guys out as my scout because this area here is. Uh, Well, let me go. Okay. Armor confirmed. Let me just figure out the. Uh, I'm doing something stupid because. CU field depleted. Ready. Push up to that point. Ah, right. Okay. My bad. My bad. Sorry, boys. Um. So this is new to me because I'm, you know, I've never played. Ah, so the back of our base is covered. And it looks like we don't need to worry about it. So I can't go any further up. That's the edge of the map, effectively. Okay, so let's just make sure we cover. We're heading down range. Don't quite get how this works, you. Location marked. So I'm, I'm going to experiment um, Strike responding. send out my light vehicles to the edges. I want to Strike craft ready. get my scouts out basically. Cleared for move. So we're tr still trying to figure out where we can and can't move. Because some places it doesn't, doesn't let us move to. Let's move. We'll see. Deposit depleted. Cool. So, yeah, I'm sending those scouts out with the. Uh, on diagnostic on the PDA. What's that? I don't want any delays. Rachel here. That unit is down. Get it back up and running. Yeah, so I'm going to get her repairing this armored assault vehicle. Let's just keep our eyes, our eyes on the scouts. I sent them out. Why can't I move this guy? Being kind of retarded here, boys. Here we Strike you. confirmed. On our way. So is this is this just the edge of the map? Then really? looks like it's telling us it's the edge of the map. Okay. Would it be nice if they kind of show that on this? But whatever. We just received a transmission from Northern Command. They have confirmed that multiple coalition bases have fallen, including Delta, Juno, and Alpha. Here is under siege. It appears the Sadim carrier, the Sakala, also managed to escape. We are to rendezvous with her and continue on with the expedition at all costs. 